big question for you. Do you have bad mobile manners? And if you don't, what is your biggest pet peeve? We've got Anna Post here from the Emily Post Institute on the set to tell us all about this sort of stuff and uh, a new Intel s survey. Thank you very much for being with us. My pleasure. Um, what is the Intel survey? So this is the annual mobile etiquette survey that Intel puts out. And first off, we started with some benchmarks. We wanted to look at how we're progressing. And I got bad news. Last year, 75% said that our mobile manners in public were not so hot. This year, 81%. So that's ticking up. So people are doing things like this. They're interrupting and then going beep, 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 yep. beep, beep, beep. You got that's it. really bad. Uh, you've got that. You've got people who are talking too loudly on mobile devices. And the volume is up. You know, it's interesting because this survey from Intel looked a little bit more about how we share and consume our information um, with other people using our mobile devices. You know, we're all looking at that online world right now. About 65% of people said that, yes, they feel more connected to friends and family because of this. However, it's not without the pet peeves in the sharing world either. <laughs> the pet peeve of being loud on the cell phone is one that really annoys me. Now, let's look at this um, mobile misfit still among us. Tell us about that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've still got people who are talking too loudly on that phone. 77%, uh, excuse me, 77% uh, are texting while driving. I mean, That's this really is hitting, bad. yeah, this is hitting the legal area. That one's just got to stop. I'm yeah. starting to hear more about it with pedestrians. It'll be interesting to see where that goes. But Pedest pedestrians, it's, it's, and I think we've all done it. Texting <laughs> and black oh, yeah. while going over the road is really dangerous. I've yeah. done that and I've, I've almost been killed. Luckily, um, I haven't, and it was scary <laughs> enough that I don't do that anymore. Yeah, absolutely. And then you've got the volume up too loud on the devices as well. You know, pretty much these days, just have headphones with you wherever you go. If you're going to make noise with it, headphones on. But when you get into the sharing, the pet peeves are about the oversharing, the too much information, too much negativity, uh, inappropriate explicit photos being shared, or information that someone else would deem to be private. And with those devices, it's so easy in the moment now to just share that out without any filter. Yeah, and, and, uh, and, uh, so been, and then there's the pocket texting accidentally. Yeah. <laughs> That's just like, but just complete drivel. And autocorrect, that gets pretty uh, spectacular too. <laughs> it, it, it really does. Maybe, maybe it's time to leave the, the phones at home. Okay, digital oversharing pet peeves. Go through, go through the, the data that you got on that. Yeah, absolutely. So that negativity, 59% of people on the Intel survey were saying that they feel that others are too negative online. My take, I have a lot of people, when you put work in the mix with that, have a positive policy. Only be talking about things that are, you don't have to be merry sunshine about everything, but you want to stay away from the really snarky, really divisive comments. Four out of ten people said that they won't associate with others online whose opinions differ widely from theirs. So think politics this time of year. If you mix business in with that, you might lose some relationships. Really? And you really could lose a relationship over that? Just somebody saying, even if you know, if you, even if you yeah. know your, you know, your, your, your great uncle has, has political views <laughs> that you don't agree with, then then if you know, it, I like giving a grain of salt with the family, but when it comes to business, I don't want to take that risk. And if four out of ten people in the Intel survey are saying that they don't want to associate with someone else because of that online opinion, look, I've got my opinions too, but I skip on some of those, and you know, maybe I just share it in an email with my friends who I think might be really interested instead. Ah. Yes. Old school. Go back yeah. to the email. <laughs> I know. I love that email's old school now. <laughs> Apparently it is. Anyway, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure. Anna my Post pleasure. of the a Emily Post Institute.